hello everybody, this is Theron, welcome to Minecraft Land, uh, Minecraft Land Party. And we are on the server, and it's kind of busy actually. And I was given uh, a heads up by VexFX that there was, he came up here to sort of see what was going on up here, and he, uh, there was an incident. Uh, there's creeper explosion, which I've experienced, and this is, oh, oh, right. So, there were a couple things. Um, he repaired the damage, um, and it messed up a couple dispensers, which he fixed. But when I came up here, I noticed that this floor here, there were actually two water source blocks. Um, so I may have accidentally placed a water source block where I shouldn't have. And so, um, then a couple things have gone through and replaced all of the, uh, got rid of all the water source blocks, put empty buckets in all those dispensers and place new fresh water source blocks only one deep along there and when I do this pop, it should suck it all up it looks looks good let's uh, do a quickie inspection carefully okay good and that looks good over there all right so I had slabs uh, two blocks tall along here and it was causing a problem because the mobs can see through it. No good. Uh, it means the skeletons can shoot at me and the mobs in there can get aggro at me. I think from here the mobs won't be able to see me because <laughs> they can't see through the top block. Because they need to see my head is what they what they look for. So uh, I should be able to come up here, be able to actually look and see the... Oh, good. And you should clear up. Come on. <gasps> nice. Let's just double check real quick. Okay, good. And it'll clean up those torches when it gets ready. Very good. So, that means that half of this top floor was never spawning anything. And it should spawn things now. Um, I think the dispensers have gotten a little out of sync, which is unfortunate but it happens and I think a lot of this has to do with this my little hopper timer here and notice here I have 64 seeds plus 13 I only put 64 seeds in the hopper timer to start with and I think what we're having here is when this chunk gets unloaded um, the the hopper is if it gets unloaded at the wrong time things get hand it off to a hopper but doesn't get deleted from the other hopper or whatever it's the, the hopper duplication bug which apparently they fixed in 1.11 but we're still on 1.10 so I figured let's swap out woohoo uh, let's swap out the uh, the seeds for emeralds if things are going to get duplicated I may as well get things that are duplicated that are useful to me okay this seems to be working again um, I do have to go up there every now and then restart the hopper clock just because it gets kind of frozen. Um, so, let's see if things start uh, spawning and dropping and falling to their death. I should be in a good spot here to observe it. So, that's that. Um, I've been, been spending my time out in the desert area there. Uh, continuing to tear down that mountain. It is com almost completely gone. I've been trying to measure out what the space I need for what I want to build there. And I don't think there's enough room there. So I have to figure out what to do about that. In fact, I don't think there's enough room there by a fair amount, which is frustrating. Uh, but, you know, I want to do this thing right. So, oh, hello. You got friends? Oh, a spider with some sort of effect who is now dead. Very good. Come on, give me your, give me experience. Um, come on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, here comes the. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this uh, it's going slowly, but we need to give it a little time. Um, so we'll see. Okay, I, I think that's good. So, let me open this up. 
let's go uh, let's go for a little walk hang on a second when I get out to where I want to go we will all come back to you bark hey buddy all right so we're back at home here and uh, it's dark outside and check this out <gasps> banks is now sleeping what kind of black magic is this um Oh, interesting. What's that? Uh, so this is, uh, I was the only one who slept there and it's now morning. It looks like it's storming out, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I added, I had a little single player sleep, uh, command block set just because it was with, uh, people, more people starting to come on the server, it was starting to get a little frustrating being out in the desert there where it's not lit up and not safe at night. Um, trying to find time to come and, and do the excavation that I needed to there. So, so I put that in, um, it works pretty well. It's got a little, we've got a couple little, um, got a couple quirks, but, oops, uh, but it works. But let me show you, speaking of doing the work, Let's go for a little walk. Ah, here we are back at the community area, and what is this? We have a little road. Um, this is pretty cool. So this, and you can see a little carve out on the mound there, and now you can see, oh, and it's raining on the lake, but not on the walkway. Interesting. And we got a little tunnel. We need to light this up a little more, uh, be nice to get these torches off the walkway itself but we'll have to figure out a way of doing that oh and it's raining in the walkway here but not here <laughs> very fun so uh, i showed you some of this but uh, vexfx was doing uh doing some work here uh, i showed you i think i showed you some of this he's building that little farm area here which is nice did some uh terra farming put in a little waterfall there this was a uh, there's a ravine here, but uh, he's sort of filled it in and done a little wet landfill work. Can we get down? Yeah, we can get down safely here. A little landfill work, and is this safe? Oh, I don't know about this. It gets dark back here. Quick. Quickly. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. So I think he just put in a layer of uh, stone down there and then filled in the lake on top of it. I think he plans to fill more of this in so he gets like a little lake feature, which is kind of cool. Um, so he's got some, you know, sheep and cows and, and stuff. So this will be a good place to get some uh, leather and and wool, different colors, although we still need a proper wool farm. Like his little bushes here. And then, you know, he's got just the usual, the crops, different things. And so place to come get food if we need it and I don't have any on in my little area down there he's got some vines so you can just climb up here although I don't know if that's the point and a small cactus farm it's a little dangerous to walk behind there over here we got pigs I think he's got a space for rabbits but he doesn't have any rabbits yet and then in here stables although there's no horses Boop, boop, boop. Aha, there we go. Yeah, so this is pretty good. This is pretty cool. He hasn't started on a main building yet. He's got his little shack up here. Um, Woohoo. He's got a dog. He went out to the modified Taiga Island and uh, bred up, bred a, or found a dog and tamed it, which is uh, found a wolf, a, a wild wolf. So the Taiga works. It's pretty cool. Uh, again, hasn't built too much here. I found a skeleton horse and uh, sort of left it here for him um, so we can ride around a bit. It's, it's more useful to ride the horse around here than it is to uh, over by my place. And he's got a little mine action going on here. So he's probably down in the mine because he is on right now. But that's, uh, that's, that's what's going on. So anyway, just a little update. Um, stuff's been happening which is very cool and uh, I've I'm still working on my little project out in the desert and ooh, and uh, I think that's about it so 
Oh. Wow, that gets worse when the server is busy. Oh, and I've got internet trouble. So, anyway, so we've got we got this. We got uh, XFX little portal here going out to his place. Community portal. Everything's pretty much the same in here. I need to start laying in some rails so we can go. Uh, so we can start traveling about a little bit more efficiently. Oh, and the other thing, I did some testing. I made myself a Smite 5 sword. The dead undead. Um, I should not be doing this without fire protection potions, but... Um, I need to continue working on rehabbing the nether fortress here as well. Oh, hello guys. Come here. Oh, no, no, I want... Oh, not... oh I got withered. Oh, I got another wither skull. Nice. Oh! Okay. Ah. Oh. Well, I did get another Wither Skeleton Skull. I just need one more. I've already got one. Stupid, stupid gas. Ooh, okay. Is there any chance he dropped a gas tier? Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, I need to figure out better protection from the gas because they can see through this stuff and it's a little bit frustrating so boom 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 and oh there's some blazes blazes get aggro and they go up okay it can be a little dangerous in here but oh that was, see that's kind of dumb Good having a good bow, that's for sure. So I can, for the most part, one hit these guys. And the fire protection on my helmet, I think, gives me pretty good protection against their fireballs. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've been, I've been expanding out the... Uh, the nether fortress rehab here to give me some sidewalks protection against the wither skeletons this smite five sword works well on them it also works on this on the the zombie pigman if i get into a spot with the zombie pigman as long as i get a fully charged swing um i have a really good chance i'm um, not guaranteed but it's a good chance of actually one hitting one-shotting the uh, zombie pigman, which is great. It means I don't necessarily have to worry about them all getting angry and causing all kinds of that kind of trouble. Let's go down and take a quick peek and see.